Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother Brett Barris. In this next video, we're going to be setting up our group policy as well as our firewall. So let's go to our domain controller here. Go to Start, Group Policy Management. We're going to expand MDT Lab, expand domains, and then we're going to click and expand our domain controllers here. Okay, you'll see default domain controller policy. You're going to right click and edit that. Let's maximize it. Go to Policies, Administrative Templates. Let's go down to System and then Net Logon. And you'll see our Allow Cryptography algorithms that I spoke about in my, our previous video. We're going to set that to Disabled. Click OK. And there we go. So any other domain controllers you create in the future will disable the cryptography algorithms compatible with Windows NT 4.0. All right. Now we're going to go here to our default domain policy. We're going to right click edit. Let's maximize that. Under our computer configuration, we're going to go to policies, administrative templates. We're going to go down to Windows components and we're going to click on BitLocker. Okay, we'll click here at the top on the title bar to sort it. Now, the first one here, choose drive encryption method and cipher strength for Windows 10 version 15.11 and later. Okay, we're going to enable that and we're going to choose the strongest encryption, which is XTS AES 256. Okay, there we go and click OK. We're going to be storing our BitLocker keys when we deploy machines and also from our service here in Active Directory. So we have our recovery keys stored there. We're going to click Store BitLocker Recovery Information in Active Directory Domain Services here. Click Enabled and click OK. We're going to do this for fixed data drives. So click on Fixed Data Drives. Choose How BitLocker Protected Fixed Drives Can Be Recovered. Click on Enabled and then click Omit Recovery Options from BitLocker Setup Wizard, as well as the Do Not Enable BitLocker Until Recovery Information is Stored in Active Directory Domain Services for Fixed Data Drives. Click OK. We're going to do that also for Operating System Drives. It's the same process. Click both those buttons. And also for our Removable Data Drives. OK. Enabled, Omit, and Do Not Enable. There we go. Okay. So now we're here, and under Internet Explorer, we're going to go here to Internet Explorer. We're going to go to Internet Control Panel, the security page. And what we're going to do is we're going to enable the intranet for MDT.lab. So the first one we're going to do is Internet Sites. Include all local Internet sites not listed in other zones. Click Enabled. We're going to do that for all three of these. Include all network paths. And the next one, include all sites that bypass the proxy server. Okay. The next one here, we're going to do site to site zone assignment. So double click on that. Click enabled. Click show. Double click on your value name. Put an asterisk dot MDT dot lab. Tab over to value. Type one and tab, then press OK and OK. And then we're going to make sure that it automatically detects the intranet. So click on here, enabled, and OK. We're good there. Now we're going to go to our restricted groups and we're going to add domain admins to the local admins group of all of our machines. Okay, so we'll go up here to security settings, Windows settings. Okay, we're going to go to Restricted Groups, click, then right-click on it, click Add Group, Browse, and in here we're just going to type Administrators, check Names, you'll see that it underlines it, click OK, click OK one more time, and then click Add. We're going to browse and type Domain Admins, check Names, it'll underline that, click OK, OK, and one last time. Now, in local policies, what we're going to do is we're going to go to 
here and we're going to go to user account control under our security options. So go down to the bottom. We're going to expand this and you'll see the behavior of the elevation prompt for administrators in admin approval mode. Double click on that. Click define this policy setting and we're going to leave it as elevate without prompting. Then click OK. We're going to minimize both of these windows. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our firewall policy. So as you can see, I've put a scriptlet here, MDT lab, default domain policy, and it's going to enable all of the ports that we need. So NTP, SQL Server, we go down here, we see HTTP, WSUS, WSUS Secure, Kerberos, LDAP, Global Catalog, Pixie, DHCP, SMB, TFTP, pretty much everything you need, remote desktop. So we're going to go from 187, we're going to scroll up all the way to 108. We're going to right click and copy. We'll go on our desktop, right click, PowerShell 7, open here as administrator. Give that a few moments to come up and prompt. There we go. Now just right click to paste and you'll see it do all of our group policy settings. And that's good. We haven't seen any red. So let's reopen our minimized windows. We're going to go to here under our Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. Then we're going to click here under Windows Defender Firewall uh, LDAP. Click on inbound rules and verify that our rules are there. And you can see all of them here. There's our DHCP, HTTP, Kerberos, LDAP, SQL, TFTP, WSUS, etc. Then in our outbound rules, you should only see DHCP and the NTP client. Okay? So let's re click on inbound rules. And now we're going to do a few other custom rules. We're going to make sure that we can ping from any new machine. So we'll right click on inbound rules, click new rule, custom, next, all programs, next. In the drop down protocol type, select ICMP version 4, next, any IP addresses, allow the connection, and it's for all domain, private, and public, next. We'll type ICMP v4 here, then click finish. And you can see it's added that there. We're going to do the same thing for our outbound rule. So right click new rule, custom, all programs in the drop down, ICMP version four, next, any IP address. Make sure you click allow the connection, next, all three domain, private, public, next. We'll also call this ICMP v4. And there you go for our outbound rule. And now we have three more to do. We have file and printer sharing, Windows Management Instrumentation, or WMI, and our remote desktop. So let's go to inbound, right click, new rule, and these are predefined. So click on predefined. We'll go to file and printer sharing. Next. You'll see all of those lined up. Next. Allow the connection and finish. And there we go. You can see all of our file and printer sharing rules are implemented. We'll go to Windows Management Instrumentation next. New rule, predefined. Go all the way down to the bottom. WMI, next, next, and finish. There you go. One more. We're going to do our remote desktop. New rule, predefined. Go all the way down to the bottom here. Remote desktop, next next and finish and there are our three rules for a remote desktop and now we can close group policy management and then on each of the machines we're going to do a group policy update for us so right click the desktop open here as administrator on our domain controller on our mdt server as well as our gateway there we go and then we're going to copy 267 to 266. We'll wait for our domain controller to update completely. And then we can do the other ones 
So there's our computer po policy has updated successfully. And then user policy. We'll go to gateway. We can just press that and force. And same thing with MDT01. Now on MDT01, just to verify that we've added our domain admins to the local administrators group, we're going to copy the command here, which is local user manager MSC. Paste that. Go to double click on groups, administrators, and you should see administrator as well as MDT slash domain admins. We're good to go there. Click OK. Close the local user manager. And then on all the VMs, we're going to restart the computers. So there we go. Two and three. And I will see you in the next video.